Hello, fellow readers. Tis I, the Rumpled One. How to fail at almost everything and still win big. Kind of the story of my life by Scott Adams. If you don't recognize the name Scott Adams, maybe you've seen his work, the Dilbert cartoons. He tells how he basically became a famous cartoonist. <laughs> you know, he tried something, didn't quite work, tried something else, that didn't quite work. He just basically wound up being a famous cartoonist. But this book is one of the best, I guess, how-to books I've read. I mean, and the reason I think it's one of the best is because I think he has a very realistic approach to what he says. It's very humorous at times, but it's only humorous because it's true, because it's grounded in reality. Let me read you some examples here. 57. I prefer simplicity whenever I'm choosing a system to use. People can follow simple systems better than complicated ones. I'll give you some examples of that in later chapters about fitness and diet. The most optimized diet plan or fitness plan will also be the most complicated but few people have enough willpower in reserve to follow complicated plans. <laughs> Basically, keep it simple. I'm sure you can see many examples of that in your own life. Page 62. My business mistakes, of which there have been plenty, were rarely caused by not being able to find the information that I knew I needed. Most of my problems were caused by my own bad decisions, lack of skill, and bad luck. I can't think of a single instance in which I was stopped because there was information I needed and I couldn't find it. I think most entrepreneurs will tell you the same thing. And more to the point of this chapter, when you know how to do something, you feel more energized to take it on. Page 64. This is pretty funny. The risk with using energy as your guide is that there are plenty of bad choices that also get you energized in the short run. But realistically, but realistically we all know, for example, that shoving cocaine up our noses isn't a good long-term strategy. The dumb choices are generally quite obvious. I mean... He's so right. Dumb choices are obvious, but some people just keep doing them. Now, this next one is something that really hit home with me. I'll read it. Page 117. It is tremendously useful to know when people are using reasoning and when they are rationalizing the irrational. You're wasting your time if you try to make someone see reason when reason is not influencing the decision. If you've ever had a frustrating political debate with your friend who refuses to see the logic in your argument, you know what I mean. But keep in mind that the friend sees you exactly the same way. I mean, that is pure gold. I mean, that's one of the problems that I face time and time again. I'm so logical and reasonable and, and, and use that as my guiding principles that I bump up against emotion and irrationality all the time. And, it, it, you know, it just, it's not a good ending. It just isn't. couple more. Let's see. He gives you a diet template for what you should eat. <laughs> Bananas, protein bars, peanuts, mixed nuts, cheese, whole wheat pizza, soybeans, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, fish, lettuce, tomatoes, apples, pears, carrots, radishes, cucumbers, quinoa, brown rice, and berries. Stick to that, you eat pretty healthy.
and then he goes on to a few other things but he, and, he, and he tells a story. There's a lot of things that you probably didn't know about him. Like he, he literally couldn't talk. He lost his voice for a long time. And he thought he was, wasn't going to be able to talk ever again. But he overcame that. And a lot of times he had persistence and determination just to keep at it, keep at it, and not take no for an answer. So really, this book, How to Fail at Almost Everything and Still Win Big, I say it's a must read.